We're joined now by Donica McCarthy, who's a climate columnist. And uh, I guess, Donica, um, I'll tell you what, why don't we start with a really simple question. When will the world end? Um, billions of years' time. Uh, I thought it was about 20 or 30 years' time. In fact, I think, wasn't it Al Gore who said in 2007 that it was 10 years' time? The world's not going to end. What will happen is the, ch the climate is changing. And it's fine to create a joke on a Saturday night, but we have just seen the hottest day ever in 125,000 years. Humanity only emerged on not the planet 200,000 years just, ago. Just, 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 you and know so this, uh, Donica, just very quickly. Almost unprecedented, and actually we need to be listening to the alarm bells. Jo jo Donica, just quickly, that highest ever temperature, where was that reading taken? It was a globally the, the it was it was it taken next to an RAF base after two typhoon fighter jets had no, landed and did that temperature only rise to that level for the ninety seconds after the landing of the jets? Do you, realize, do you realize how insulting that is to the global scientific uh, community? Sorry, just to be clear, just to be clear, are you denying, are you denying, are you denying, Donica, are you denying that the highest temperature, the highest temperature ever the planet, recorded in Britain was after the landing of two typhoon fighter jets on a level four, a level four, a level four climate station, a level four station, which is level four, it is a simple a fact. I think it's disgusting that you've lied to people in the way that you've lied to people. Two I... typhoon fighter jets landed. They took a reading from the runway of an RAF base, and that has qualified you to say it was the hottest day ever. The heating only lasted for 90 seconds. You liar! You liar! I actually... I, I actually take offence from that. Well, I don't care whether you because, take offence from that, because you've just because come actually, on my show If you'd love people to answer your questions, you might actually be uh, have a privilege to have some, some manners. It's not a privilege to have you, because you just lied on my TV show. Donica, it's out of curiosity, do we just all Sorry, run around uh, well, screaming, actually, yeah. shouting the world is, uh, the end of the world is nigh with sandwich boards? I mean, what? It, no offence, but let's be honest, a lot of the things that need to happen, um, have, have like the seabeds and the Amazon rainforest and all those are completely completely out of our hands as human beings sat here in this radio t television station. So what what exactly do you... I don't understand. I just think it's fear-mongering to say, you should be terrified, it was the hottest day ever. What exactly... The, the climate, as we well know in history, does change. Because what at one point, parts of Birmingham were under Mediterranean water. That's an actual fact. So things have changed and do change, don't they, Donica? Um, I think both of you are acting as 21st century Lord ho -hos, betraying Britain, betraying science and betraying the British people. We have just seen record temperatures. At RAF Collinsby. In not only in we've human seen history, record temperatures. We've seen record temperatures at RAF record, Collinsby after the two times. The record temperature was landed. measured from the global system of scientific So are you denying that the hottest, the hottest the temperature recorded in Britain was at RAF Collinsby after two fighter jets landed? I am not talking about Britain, I'm talking about global oh, temperature. I thought it was Could the hottest Please understand that. The hottest day ever on the planet when you put it together scientifically all of the measuring um, such stations, stationed by scientists across the world, it was the hottest day in 125 years. And oddly, want... really cold and you needed a jacket even in London today because it was um, sideways. By the way, by the way, I'm just going to help that. the viewers. For those of you that don't know, there's a scientific actually, reason for the, that. The international, the international Meteorological Association uh, classifies uh, different weather stations by five classifications, the fifth being the lowest or junk status. The hot, hottest temperatures recorded in Britain were all on level four stations, which are considered so inaccurate that they're not generally used for scientific purposes. Donica, is that true? I think the yes argument no. is actually uh, what we're engaged in yes here or is no. information campaign. Uh, yes or no? Well, we are. It, this is disinformation. Because you've lied that, about the Collinsby thing and you won't confer the level four. You're uh, a Lord uh, Ho-Ho, Andre. You're a Lord Ho-Ho. Do you know understand what that means? I didn't hear what you were saying. You're a lord. I said you're a lord ho ho. Oh, for goodness sake. So you are comparing, you are comparing somebody who wants to talk about the temperature at RAF Collinsby as somebody who was a pro Nazi. So, no, so I... you know what? You can call me a Nazi if you want. I'm going to call you a lying you fool. You call me a liar. There we go. Go for it. Lying fool. Lying fool. You called me a liar. Lying fool. Lying fool. <laughs> Cut him off. 
Um, I'm bored of him now. Um, right, okay. Well, what do you think of that, Charlie? <laughs> I mean, look, he's comparing me to a neo to a Nazi on the grounds that I pointed out the fact, the fact that these temperatures were all taken on level four. He didn't have to four. get personal. So, this, this is what a lot of people do on the left when they've got these opinions. They tend to always smear you with something because it's very hard to come back from it. They just go Nazi, Nazi, the Nazi. The, prob racist, the problem is, racist. the problem is with him. You are insulting his religion. That's the reality. That's yeah. really what it is. It is a mm. state religion these days. And, um, you know, for him to come... And he's talking, commenting on this issue of, of people having too many kids. Uh, and that's the one thing that's causing the issue. I mean, how in that, how can a kid be measured by their carbon emission? I mean, that's what he's saying here. He's saying that because we're having too many kids...